If you have ever run into the problem of not being able to find the drivers you need, then this video is for you. In this video, I will explain several ways to identify the hardware in your computer in order to download and install the correct drivers. There is a small degree of deduction and creative thinking involved, but if you take your time, you should have no problem in finding what you need. I am going to explain the methods I use to identify hardware, from the easiest method to the most complicated method. You should only use the more complicated methods if the easier methods are unsuccessful. One of the easier methods in identifying drivers, quite frankly, is taking a look at your manuals. Wherever you bought the computer, motherboard, or whatever, uh, it should have come with instruction manuals. And on those instruction manuals, it actually says the manufacturer and the model of system you have. So that would be the first and easiest method in identifying what drivers you need, your manuals. The next possible method that you may be able to use involves turning on the computer and paying close attention to your normal boot up text. In this text, somewhere near the top, you'll see the actual model of your motherboard it flashes by very quickly, but if you pay attention, you will see it. So this right here would be the second method in identifying what drivers you need. This will give you the model of your motherboard. When you need to find your drivers, there are several places on the motherboard you can find the identifier. One of them being in between the PCI and PCI Express slots. Now on this motherboard, all you see is EVGA, which is not the model, but rather the manufacturer. On this specific board, the model is actually located next to the CPU. It says, this motherboard is the Enforce 680i SLI. That's the model of this board. So, I know that EVGA manufactured the board and the model is what's listed, 680i SLI. Let's say you've installed Windows and everything's been set up but the video card. You don't know what the card is and because of this, you don't know what drivers to install. Well. One way you can figure out what card you have is via the vendor and device hardware ID numbers. In Device Manager, you can see a list of all your hardware, including an unknown device. Right-click the device and click Properties. Then click Details and make sure Hardware ID is selected. This Hardware ID value is quite literally telling you what this device is. Now, my video drivers are installed. But for the sake of this video, we are going to act as if they are not and search for the drivers from my hardware. Just like we did with the unknown device, I will right click my video card and select properties, select details, and then make sure hardware IDs is selected. Then what you want to do is right click the first value and select copy. Then open an internet browser and go to Google. Now, paste the hardware ID in the search field and click search. Now what you're looking for here is a common theme when it comes to the results. Many results, all giving you the same answer, tends to be what you're looking for in general. Now let's click a link and see what we can find. So this person is saying that they have a device with the exact hardware ID as my own and his device is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570. Hmm, that may be our device, but let's check another link and see if the result carries forward. Okay, this site again says, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 570 is the card associated with this device ID. So look, I'm getting more confident that this is our device, but let's try one more link and see what we can find. 
And yet again, another person restating the results from the first link we visited. I'm 100% certain that this is our device. So let's go to the NVIDIA website and actually just download the drivers for the GTX 570. So now I Google NVIDIA, I go to their website, select download drivers, select my hardware, my OS, and click search. From this point, it's as simple as clicking download and then installing the file once complete. Now hopefully, one of these many examples that I've given you has helped you find and install your drivers. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.